So we <laughs> we got we made it halfway through. Part two. We're on this till the circuit. We did one side of our range of motion burpee. Let's do the left side. Yeah, my record might end too. But that's okay. Let's keep going. Eight. Seven. Work with what you got. Six.
my count's probably off, but two, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are these so hard today? What? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake that out. Okay. Set that down. We're going to do some kicks. I love kicks because you get your legs nice and stretched out and loose. Work your core. Alternating front kicks. Pretty simple, but you want to get that form right. Out and in. Out and in. You can add a little punch if you want. Yeah. We're gonna do some kicks to the back. Same idea. Up, out, in, and down. stretching. Nine, eight, eight. Remember, this is part two of the high lie workout. surface too because then your back and spine can relax and you're in a nice neutral position. First one, you just hug that knee and circle the ankle. And then you straighten that leg out, press through the heel, breathe into your hamstring. You could bend that other knee. You can also use a strap here, wrapping it around the ball of the foot, but you don't have to. And then third, some, some people call this figure four, it's your hip stretch. Cross that foot over, you bring the hands through, you clasp them on the shin. If you cannot reach the shin, you're clasping them here behind the leg. Good, release that. Other side, bring that knee in nice and tight, circle the ankle. <clears throat> Good. Straighten it out. Press through the heel. Yeah. Good. And then cross that foot over. Bring it in. All right. So I hope you guys have a great day. It's important to break a sweat and stretch every single day, even if it's only for 15 minutes. There is... You can have a nice intense workout without it being high impact. So just remember that. It is important to get the heart rate up. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys. Check me out for more.